have kind of seen the light in many ways about influencers. It was about getting down to what influencer marketing really is. And we narrowed it down into what we call the three T's and the three R's. So truth, transparency, and trust. And we had reach, relevance, and resonance. I mean, this essentially meant uh, the right influencer set, which was you know moving away from celebrities to micro-influencers who created more relatable content, yep. uh, whose audiences you understood and whose audiences resonated with yours and they shared the same ethics and values. Well, sport is where it started really, isn't it? I mean, if you talk to the big sports brands, there's no way you sell sports equipment unless you have influencers, advocates. Um, but we really have two forms of influencers from, from a business perspective. The, the players, our squad, you've also got fan influencers, you know, that are yeah. actually influencing inwardly and about how people think about things. So um, it's changed everything, isn't it? It's, you know, it's changed the way that you think as a business, it's changed the ethics of business, it's changed all the social responsibility. You know, it's, it's generally been a massive force for good, I think. What does it mean for you? How do you work with somebody like Natalie? I think, I think the best content, storytelling and authenticity really comes from letting go of control and letting your squad or influence, influence or member be their own creative director. The creative freedom I think is super important. We were talking about what makes the good campaign and I think it's a brand going, we've identified that you have a lot of the same values as us. We like your content because essentially that's why you go to influencers. We, you go to us because we can tell your brand's story in our unique way. My concern and our concern that we've got about trust and authenticity. I think we all want to know when we're being recommended something. Recommendation is now such a part of everything, isn't it? I mean, we all seek out. It's not like we, it, this is just spoon-fed to us. You know, yeah. we all follow uh, accounts because we want to know what they think, what they're recommending to us. What yeah. sort of rules do you think we should put in place? Should we have the same kind of guidelines? If you look at TV advertising, so you've got uh, Ofcom, you've got vetted by Clearcast, there is a safety in the environment it goes in. Well, it's, it's really difficult and regulation is always going to follow, isn't it? You can't put it up front. And it's quite, it's almost a moral regulation. So your example, was it that Khloe Kardashian thing and that flat tummy company, my flat tummy because I've taken this supplement? I mean, it's a load of nonsense, right? It is worth noting that obviously now there are more regulations. So the ASA just released new guidelines. So now that you, like legally you have to disclose that it's, an, it's been paid for and that's in terms of, that's across everything. You have to say hashtag ad if you've been gifted it, but you also have to disclose whether you've worked with that brand before. Your audience should almost trust and believe your opinion that you would only work with brands you yes. believe in. I think a lot of people feel a bit like it's their brand as well, so therefore they have very strong opinions of your brand, which is amazing and it can help form lots of decisions you make. However, that also means that they can have negative opinions about your brand. A uh, sort of what's next for influencer marketing? Where, where do you see it going in the future? Um, more reliance on data. It's going to be a reality for every marketing touch point across industries. I think the internet from the very beginning has forced brands to become more authentic. I think the trust erosion will drive a level of authenticity that the relationship between the brand and the influencer becomes authentic, becomes real, and trust will be restored. That's what I hope for anyway. Mm. Top tip for excellence in influencer marketing. If you're going to be an influencer, do it in something that you actually like and you believe in. And if you're going to be a brand and find people, find people that actually like what you do and, and then endorse it for the right reasons. I think it's a little bit of what I was saying earlier about just creative freedom and trusting the people you're working with and allowing them to kind of put their own take on your campaign and your brand and tell that story. Thank you. I'm going to be in violent agreement with you. I think, <laughs> I think it's um, once you you've got the right uh, influencer, the thing that's powerful and most exciting is their relationship with the audience. So forget your brand guidelines, give your brand over to the influencer and let their aesthetic, let their creativity correct, connect with the people. Thank you very much.